Hey ladies and dudes, this is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boobop Nighties my review for day. And today I have no review, ladies and dudes, but once again it's time for another video I gotta do for today. Even if it's raining outside in my area, and yes, I do bring the American flag here with me again for this other video I'm going to do for today even though it's pretty dark outside and I don't want to wake up my family because you know I gotta keep my voice down and all that stuff okay the reason why I gotta do this video for today is uh, today is going to be a really sad day and tonight is going to be the last and final episode of one of my most favorite shows of all time from AMC called Turn. And to tell you the truth this ladies and dudes, I fell in love with that show and it's starting to become one of my most favorite shows of all time. Just like Castle. Uh, Turn is such a great show and it is based by a true story. Some of the stuff that we haven't learned yet from history. Something that's missing from the 1700s. You know, try to get to know these other characters who came from real history. You know, the Washington spies. And, yeah, I really do enjoy the Washington spies. You know, Abraham Warhol and Anna Strong and this Benjamin dude and that other dude that's so hard to pronounce his name. Um, I will say they're pretty darn likable characters. And they're pretty darn interesting to watch. And I really do fell in love with the cast who did the characters. They did a pretty well done job with all of them. But for me, my most favorite character from Turn, Washington Spies, will always be John Andre. I will say that John Andre is a pretty well fleshed out and well developed character. I mean, he had a really good, interesting storyline. He has a great personality, great attitude. He's a, such a good-looking dude, and he's such a charmer. And he had a really good relationship with Peggy. But Sally, in the second season, of course, well, I did read somewhere that there were rumors that uh, John Andre did have a relationship with Peggy. And I did remember that little lock that he had in his hair that he gave her from that night. If you remember that second season very well about the little lock that he had in his hair that he gave to Peggy. Since there is a sign that they'll never see each other again. And it's a sad shame in season 3 that he died from being hanged. It was one of the most saddest episodes I ever watched when he died. But to tell you the truth is about John Andre, he did not die as a spy. He really did die as a hero in real life. And he was so darn brave to face his own death by being hanged. Yeah, I will say that John Andre is truly my most favorite character from Turn. And yeah, tonight is going to be the last and final episode and I'm going to miss this show very much because I had so much fun watching this wonderful show called Turn and try to get to know the real history that I did not know of from history class. Something about the Washington spies and try to get to know what they did to get to know about the British's plans to take over America and all that stuff. Yeah, that's, it's a pretty darn good show, what else I could say. It, it'll be too heartbroken for me to say goodbye to this show. And another thing you should know about Turn is, Turn is starting to become one of the most underrated TV shows of all time because I think nobody had never talked about this show. Even, you know, tried to get to know a show that was based by a true story. I know everybody likes those other shows like uh, Preacher and Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, Fear, or 
the adorable show called The Walking Dead. Uh, and Hold to Catch Fire. I know everybody loves those shows, but for me, my most favorite show, you know, when I watch AMC, will always be Turn. I love Turn. It's such a great show. It had a good storyline, interesting characters, fantastic cinematography, great costume designs. Uh, I love the cast and crew of, who did who did the show and all that stuff. And also for my rating of, you know, for the ranking of the seasons. Um, okay, four plays has to go to the second season. Third place goes to the fourth season. The second place goes to the third season. But no matter what, the first place will always be the first season. Because I think the first season is truly the best season ever for for term because I think the storyline was pretty darn interesting and I love the part where where the story began about getting to know our characters and their storylines and getting to know what they're doing in their lives, you know, being spies and doing George Washington's most serious work, getting to know what the British people are up to and also try to get to know the British people as well. There's some British dudes that are not all that bad. They're sometimes in our side as well. Well, only two of them, of course. And I guess everybody wants to know what the heck... What the heck do you think about this Senko dude? I like to call him the weirdo... Goofy British dude, because this guy, he's too darn weird for my taste. I know he's freaking evil, but his voice sounded too goofy for, for my taste. I will say is, eh, he was okay. Uh, the actor is fine, but the problem is, is his voice. His voice is, sounds too weird for my taste. I wish uh, he could use his normal voice. I remember I did see him behind the scenes of turn where he had a normal voice but I don't know why he has to release a goofy voice that's kind of weird for my taste yeah and I guess everybody also wants me to know what do you think about Anna Strong having an affair with Abraham Warhol I will say I think she's starting to feel her regrets for having this stupid affair with Abraham Warhol and and she was also think she's sick and tired of being a whore to so many men that she met. And she felt betrayed of, you know, cheating on her husband. So, yeah, I do feel kind of sorry for Anna Strong. I really don't think she's a really whore for the show. At least she's a very strong character. She's very fleshed out and well-developed and... She's really headstrong. I, that's one thing I do like about Anna Strong. She's a really headstrong character. She's doing her work very seriously. She's connecting very well to other men who are not horny dudes. And I guess she'll feel her regrets for, you know, getting involved with this stupid affair with Abraham Warhol. I, I wish she should have never done that. Maybe she should have done something else like, you know, keeping her marriage alive with her husband, if you know what I mean. And I wish there was something else I could say about this wonderful show. So anyway, yeah, those are my greatest thoughts and my feelings about this wonderful show called Turn. And please don't forget to see the final episode tonight at 9 o'clock. I want to go ahead and pay my respects for the cast, the crew, the directors, producers, the screenwriters, whoever these people are. I want to say they did a fantastic job with this great show called Turn. And we're going to miss this show very dearly. I salute you people. And also to our dear, beloved American flag.
thank you for giving us this wonderful show and I'm gonna miss this show very dearly. Amen. And that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video about my main thoughts of her, the, how much I love this show and I'm gonna miss it very dearly. And also, join me next time for my next movie review as I'm going to do everybody's most favorite film of all time called The Mummy, the 1999 version. It's gonna be a good movie review to do even with our wacky protagonist, uh, Rick O'Connell. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys later. Sayonara.